Now we have the data for our Chuck Norris app right here, but we want to present it differently. So let's try and use some of the Yannick predefined um, components that we have available. And if you go into building a so yannickframework.com right here, where they explain how you build great uh, mobile apps with their framework, there's something called Explore Docs right here. Let's go there. Under Explore Docs, there's something called Components right here, and that's actually a list of all the different components that Yannick pre-built for you. So scrolling down, we can find something called the card right here, and that's the one I'm going to use this lesson. Now the card is kind of a way to show these square boxes right here. And if we look at the card, there's a few things we can do right here. We can start by adding some basic cards right here. Uh, that's the one we're looking at. We can talk about card headers, like we have a header right here. We can scroll down and we can see something about the images on cards actually right here and etc etc. So we can we can look at the different cards. Let's just you can add a background image. That's what we're going to try and do. So we can go and we can actually use this hideous small icon right here as the background image for our card right here. So it'll look something like this. Of course, it'll expanding into being something hideous. It doesn't matter. I just want to show you guys how simple it is to actually grab an image and show it inside our application right here. So let's try and do that. First of all. How do we make a card? So jumping back to my component guide right here, if you want to make this, you need a Yannick card right here. Um, so we are going to do that. We're going to make a Yannick card. So I go in here and I try to write Yann dash and then the card will pop up and autocomplete for me. There we go. Now we have a card. Inside the card, I want to add my image right here. So I'm going to add an image just call it IMG like this. And it asks for the source, but you have to know when we're working with Angular, we need to put square brackets around the source because what I want to put in here is actually a source pulled from the data we created. Now we can go now and grab the source from the icon URL. Notice how helpful it is to explain to me what we have available. That's because we're using type safe code. That's because we have a joke available. So we know there's an icon URL. So we'll add that right here. Let's just save this and have a look at how it actually looks right now. It won't show anything and I'll actually get a not found right here. But as soon as I click this guy, we get our new Chuck Norris image right here. There we go. But why did it not show anything? Well, the problem is right now that we're not testing if there's actually a local joke available. Let's just skip that for now. What else do we need in here? Well, let's jump back to our documentation. We also want to actually add some content. So we need an icon card content right here icon card content there it is and in there we want to add an icon card let's just put it in directly in the title the chuck norris joke so we need a yarn uh, card title right here notice how simple it is for me just to reuse their different uh, predefined tags right here and in there we're going to add our joke there we go let's just keep this like this for now and have a look at our app how it looks right now again there's nothing in there until i click the get random and here we go now we have a, a chuck norris jokes inside a small square bracket right here the last thing i'll do is i'll add an ngf to say i want to show um, something different i don't want to show this card if there's not actually a local joke available so i'll say just like we did earlier i'll say if there is a local joke then show this card right here there we go and it'll actually hide the card and not give me an exception if there's no local joke available. And then I'll just make another card right here that says if there's no local joke, just show the Yonic content saying uh, click button above. Again, just to show you the NGF with two different functions right here. And there we go. Now we've made some kind of UI for our click event right here. Now you might not like the UI, that's okay. Go and fix it yourself. But now it'll actually show up like a picture. Chuck Norris uses jalapenos as breath mints. <laughs> Good joke. The word pain is coined after Chuck Norris, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. So I've had enough Chuck Norris jokes for one night. So let's just end it right here and see you in the next lesson where we can play around even more with different components and all the other great Yonic stuff. Have fun.